Hello, 60s technology thrill seekers. Uh, little addendum. Actually, it's this is going to be the intro to a, a video. The next part to uh, repair and hopefully rebuild of a Pentax S1A. I bought, I well, to start out with, here is where I've gotten with the camera thus far. I've got all of this stuff has already been taken out. Uh, the shutters uh, laid elsewhere. As I was taking this apart, um, there were a couple things that I did not take apart. Um, I didn't take apart this gizmo here. I forget what it's called. Doesn't really matter right now. I snapped off the head of one stud right there. There should be uh, a slotted nut right there but it, it broke off and I lost now they, I've got a different one on there but I lost the weeny teeny little nut that goes on top of this post right there um, there now you can see it right next to the little bit of red lacquer that I lost so I put a different nut on there to, to hold everything together um, so I bought um, a parts camera, sold as is, uh, a Pentax H1A, which is very similar, built on the same frame, uh, just had a couple of different modifications to it. There were a whole series of this this frame camera, uh, H1A S, ooh, S1A uh, S, I don't know, a whole bunch of them. And in the last video. I started tearing it down uh, at the end of the last video I actually went to the, the trouble of downloading and printing off some of the pages from an actual Pentax shop manual uh, for the repair and maintenance of that this particular frame of camera um, and where was I going with this so the, the series of slides that are going to follow this uh, are they were they were shot mostly for my purpose uh, and I'm going to add some notes here and there but for the most part they were just shot for me um, to keep track of the disassembly so that when the time comes if I can do this uh, including fixing the shutter or actually re repairing replacing the shutter uh, I could reverse the process and put it back together more effectively uh, everything is mostly in order there's a couple of things that are out of order but somebody might get some use out of it Anyhow, uh, I broke, I lost, I lost a part, and I broke another. So I got a parts camera. I got uh, bought, sold as is H1A, same frame, mostly the same parts. And I got the camera. I paid nine dollars for it, plus shipping. Now that nine dollars is is more than twice what I typically pay for any of these old pen taxes. Uh, most of the ones I have were in the one to two dollar category. Um, so I bought this nine dollar camera, sold as is, unknown condition, and the only problem with it turns out to be that it works. In fact, it doesn't just work, it works very, very well. And it's also, now that you can see, I think you can see, there's some staining uh, on the, the top cover, some pitting, uh, not really sure. It looks like something damp might have gotten to it, or at least in close proximity. Other than that, it's a really nice example of an H1A, and it's also super smooth. It just turns and fires. The 500th of a second shutter speed might be a little slow. I'm not really sure. I compared it to uh, a known Spotmatic, and it was hard to tell. The shutter is so so fast at that point, anyhow. Um, but it's it appears to be identical in shutter timing, at least up to a 250th of a second. So I can't bear to take this camera apart and strip it out for parts. Um, so I'm going to add this to the other collection of boxes and boxes of cameras that I have stashed all over my house. Uh, this one, 
uh, again you can see the top is blemished I have another H1A that does not work especially well but it looks mint uh, so I may just swap out some some of the trim parts and this top cover uh, and have a camera that not only looks good but works well so I have another S1A coming that I paid I don't know I think I th paid three dollars for it that is in as is condition I should have that Tuesday um, and then I also this week I should have the curtain the shutter curtain material so I'm going to start that and really that's all I wanted to show you uh, I was a little surprised pleasantly surprised so I'm looking forward to hopefully taking this out into the field I've got about eight cameras right now that have film in them that I'm waiting for nicer weather to take out into the field and do some shooting um, I've become a very much a fair weather photographer if it's colder snowy or wet out I'm just not that into it uh, I'm much more about the mechanics when the weather isn't good so anyhow following this is a slideshow of the, the tear down to this point um, following Pentax's uh, own manual uh, I guess I'll put it in the last video I put a, a, a link in the show notes I'll put the same links in the show notes below um, the, the slideshow follows those directions starting at about the part where it comes down to removing the mirror box and that that's only the tip of the iceberg it's a lot from there um, a lot of teeny little parts a lot of patience all inclusive I might have three hours tied up into this so far um, it's very patient work um, and I'm not a mechanic I'm not a camera mechanic I'm a machine mechanic I work in the plastics industry uh, doing recycling keeping plastic materials out of landfills and I work on the equipment this is this is a hobby for me so again slideshow following Pentax's own directions for disassembly um, and this would be the second part of what might turn out to be a fairly lengthy series because I'm also going to do when the shutter material comes in I'm gonna make a video of that process hopefully I can get it on the first first try um, I will take it from there and see what comes next till then